We've successfully tested our Spidosaur in the field. We're getting GPS data. We're receiving all of that good information. What we now need to do is test the GPS return to home rescue, test the position and altitude hold as well. Now we've shown you how to set all that up in Betafly. However, it gets a little bit complex. Let me move this out of the way. When you've got so many different options available on each of your switches and you've got your goggles on and you don't know which switch you're pressing for which. So we're here to make it a little bit easier for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up voice, not voice commands like the Hello Radio, but voices for when you activate a switch. It's actually quite an easy thing to do when you know how, as with anything. So first of all, we're going to press the MDL button and that takes us into our model setup. Now, if you press page back and we're going to want to look for special functions. Now, <clears throat> in here, we've already got LEDs and we've already got the Lua script for the gyro. Again, this, this also does motion control. We're not going to touch any of those. We're going to go to the bottom where there's a plus and you can either touch the screen or you can use the scroll wheel and push it in, etc. So if we do S3, now we want the trigger. What do we want the trigger to be? Well, if we select and hold it and we press this particular button here and then press in the scroll wheel. So that's telling me when that button's pressed down, this is what's going to happen. This is when it's going to trigger it, sorry. The function that we want is to play a track, not play a sound, but play a track. Now the value that we want is going to be pre arm There you go. I don't know what I was looking at before. So that's our pre-arm button. Now this is our arm button. So we press return plus and we'll go to special function number four. Our trigger is going to be when the position, the st when the stick is in that position. Our function is play track. And this one, make sure you enable it. Now you could go as far if we had another special function for this one, what we want is hang on go back sorry what we want for this one is for the switch to be in that position and we'll go to play track i'm pretty sure there is a disarmed as well yeah should you enable it but now so there's no question in your head now what buttons you're actually pressing okay so then if we return and do one more and put this stick on oh, Put this stick in the middle position. So again, go back. So we've got. Now we can also uh, set, let's set a GPS rescue as well. If you're somebody that likes to have, say, angle mode, you can also do that as well. So our trigger would be this switch in the neutral position, the middle position. And again, we would go to play track we're looking for altitude hold sorry no we're looking for no try again angle mode let's try that again so if you're something that likes to use angle mode then we'll do it this way and it's there so we've gone from a radio that's got loads of different switches and different combination to now tell us This is as easy as that. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go out to the field and we are going to test the Spidosaurus. We're going to test, test the GPS rescue and we're going to test the and see if those settings uh, from Betafly are going to be acceptable for this drone. I'm pretty sure they will be. Uh, and just how, how well it works um, and how much easier this is without having to remember. Oh, is it this switch? Is it that switch? I'm forever doing it because I set up every model differently because, you know... It's just what I do for absolutely no apparent reason whatsoever. Anyway, let's go out to the field now and get this tested. We're at the field with the Spinosaur and we're just going to check our buttons now to make sure we know where our fingers are. So there's our pre-arm. Arm. There's, there's our arm and disarm. Altitude hold. Position hold. Angle mode. GPS. Okay, so we're ready to go. We've got 11 satellites. Pre-arm active. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Angle mode. GPS. Right, okay. Pre-arm active. We're ready to go. Art. Let's get. Now it's a bit windy, so we're going to just be a bit super, super, super cautious with it. Thank you, boy. Wonder FPV. Best spotter in the world. Best spotter in the world. Trademark. Uh... All right, um... GPS. So GPS rescue is enabled. As you can see, my hands are off the sticks, and it's turning around. 
and I'm just going to disarm that so we know that those settings are good. We know that that works. So if you need to set up a GPS rescue on a Spidersaur, you know that copying the settings that we put on the previous video, which I'll link, work. Now what we need to do is test our position and altitude hold. So again, we're just going to get into the field just nice and calm. Altitude hold. So as I'm now doing that, it's not going up any higher. And then if I do position hold, position hold. Uh, that's position hold. It's just getting caught a little bit by the wind up there. Let's just try that position hold again. Position hold. So we can still do our altitude, but it's holding its position. So that's working fine. Now what we've also done is the panic button that we showed you earlier on well actually late on last year it was and we actually combined both position hold and altitude hold on a single switch so if we just go over here a second again just making sure we're nice and safe and i hit this button we've now got position and altitude hold now there is a little bit of drift um but we are using beta flight 4.6 which is ultimately a um pre-release candidate still currently but if we then get rid of that we then have full control over the quad again so that is a great success uh, insert bora image here now um of position and altitude hold and gps rescue on the spider now no doubt somebody will come along and say actually if you change this setting you'll have a better result um, and that's absolutely fine but the beta flight defaults seem to be more than enough if you get yourself into a bit of a situation now the reason why we also put angle mode on is if you are upside down and you're panicking like this if you flick angle. it into angle mode it will straighten you out a little bit so that also works as a little bit of a panic switch as well This drone is so much fun. You can hear the wind. It's crazy, crazy windy. But there we go. That is position and altitude and GPS rescue. And again, we'll just sling it over here. GPS. So I've, I've not touching anything. Don't have any control over the quad whatsoever. It's going to ascend to the altitude that we've set and then it's going to turn itself around like that and then it's going to come back to us. But I am a pilot who prefers manual controls so I will uh, retake control. As soon as I've got control, if I do have a fail safe, I always retake control. But that is the Spider Sora GPS setup. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please do drop them in the comments down below. But uh, let's go to the outro. That then was a video of how to use the position and altitude hold switch in Betaflight 4.6, how to set it up and how to have your radio talk to you so that when you're flying, you know which switch to hit. Got any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments down below. This is just the start of loads more spider Sora content. This thing is a super, super premium, super capable, really fun drone to fly. Any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments down below. But until next time, peace out.